Talk up some here for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily, and it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> for those that want to believe that stuff, yes, it's, it certainly is, but it also means it's college football time. So that's what we're going to talk about here. Got a, a lot of new games to talk about. I have a lot of games we talked about the other day, and everything includes free picks. So how good is that going to be? So we're going to get started on that uh, in just a second. Hey, first of all, at uh, Vegas Pro Insider Daily Inner Circle, you can get the top plays from Sean Higgs, number one in the NFL at sportscaping.com. Here's Truly's on a nice six and two run. Uh, Kyle Hunter's 15 and eight in his best bets. Jim Mack picked up a couple winners this week and so has Dennis Macklin. So the whole crew is doing well at the present time. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that, that we win every day because that is not true and anyone that tells you that is absolutely lying to your face. So. We go. Th everybody goes through streaks. If you're better, you know that. Okay, you're gonna have good times. You're gonna have bad times. But the idea is to win money, and that's what you're gonna be able to do. Plus, you're gonna get uh, all kinds of other interesting things that are gonna help you win, like our in-season uh, uh, systems have tremendous success okay with those and they just keep developing week after week after week uh wise guys plays uh top trends for the weekend uh some other super systems okay that do it really well 80 plus percent so you get all that and that's just 99 dollars a month for the entire package okay like i say you can go buy somebody's best bet okay for for the weekend and that's going to be at least 69.99 you can get everything for 99 dollars now hey let's let's look at some line moves now a couple actually I'm not going to talk about because of circumstance Clemson and TCU both are increased favorites Clemson playing tonight being Friday uh, they're, they're going up but in both cases the the uh, Bryant the uh, Clemson quarterback has come back was official he was you know a little bit up in the air so that line moved up once he became probable and Kansas State lost their quarterback and so TCU's line went up so we're not going to cover those even though that would be part of our normal line moves so I just want to explain why so as we don't always do we're going to start with the new ones and we'll go back and talk about the ones then from uh, Tuesday okay so we do that first of all Friday night game Pac-10 Washington against California now there was a fair amount of speculation this week that uh, Washington State off two big games and now having to play a second straight week on the road might be in some trouble going to California. But evidently, betters, uh, even though there was talk, betters haven't followed up on that type of talk and have taken the Cougars from minus 13 and a half up to minus 16. Now, to be perfectly honest, I really don't like this line much, uh, but I'm going to lean with Washington State because California's offensive line has just been getting throttled and their quarterback has just been getting, being sacked continually. Washington State's defense certainly can do that again, so I'm going to take. I'm going to lean with Washington State on that one. Next up, we on Saturday we're going to have a uh, high noon start on the ESPN News Network, and uh, it's not a game that many people would certainly look at. Uh, Connecticut at Temple, but somebody certainly is because the uh, Temple Owls have dropped from minus 12 and a half down to minus nine and a half, and the total has gone a lot right with it from 62 down to 58. Now, in this one, um, I think there's value now on Temple being under 10, a key number like that. So I think that's that, that's not a bad spot. And then also have to consider that road underdogs, like the Huskies in this case, who have been outscored by 10 or more points per game after, get, after playing in two consecutive games in which 70 or more total points were scored. I know that's a lot to consider. So just you can play this back if you want. But when that happens, they're just 5-24 and 24 against the spread. Um, I like Temple here in, in this spot. I'm not so crazy about the total. I think the direction of the line move is actually correct. So I'll just have a slight lean on that. Uh, also, uh, kind of a big game in the, eh, kind of, it is a big game in the uh, Mountain West Conference, uh, Boise State and San Diego State. And in this one, um, the thing that, that's come about is there's been a change. And what's happened is, one of the things is, and I think I'm going to get this right, there's two things that are happening. Number one, the letter D, and I don't have a fence, so I'm, you could just, just imagine I'm holding a fence in this hand, okay? So, D 
offense. Get it? Okay, you got it. All right, so that's what we're doing. The total has gone from 51 down to 45 and a half. Now, I understand the sentiment of this game that because both teams are most likely going to run the ball, they're pretty good defensively, but I don't think so, okay? I like the over, especially this low. I think that's just too dramatic of a fall. Uh, the Aztecs, in this case, are 13 and four over after scoring 20 or more points it, it, by the half in two straight games. I like the over over in that one. All right, now let's go back and talk about some of the games that uh, from the other day uh, that we had covered and uh, give you some updates on all of those. We're going to start with, uh, was it uh, West Virginia and, um, yeah, West Virginia and Texas Tech. That game's going to be in Morgantown. Now, the betting markets have, have kept this Big 12 battle right where it was, which is uh, West Virginia minus 3.5, but the total has come way down from 78 down to 72.5. Uh, I liked, when I, when I first uh, saw this game, I actually liked uh, Texas Tech. I don't like them as well at 3.5. I mean, it's not 3, but I liked 6 a lot better, needless to say. So, But I'll, I'll still give a shot. I, I'll give them a shot, and I think they have a possibility. They could actually win this game outright. And when I uh, scored this game by my power ratings, I came up with 71. Okay, so I not as strong a play anymore, but I would still consider the under in in that one with what the uh, with the adjustments that have been made. Uh, Florida International uh, is playing Tulane. Tulane was uh, went from minus 13, excuse me, minus 11 to minus 13. That's been bumped up to 13 and a half. Um, this one. I understand exactly why the green wave are, why this is occurring, okay, why their line is doing this, but here's the thing. I'm, I'm, I believe in program history, and sometimes it just takes a while to get going again. Tulane has not been a double-digit favorite against the FBS team since 2008, okay? And, in those, and it ended up being back-to-back -back games when that happened, and they did not cover either one. I don't think they're going to cover this one either. And in spite of what the, how high the number is, get this, on the betting trends, and if you go to the uh, Vegas Pro Insider Daily website, you'll see this as well. 80% of the people on Tuesday were betting on Tulane. As of right now, the number of tickets written is 28%. Big, big switch there. So I like uh, Florida International. Not big. But I definitely like them. Boston College in ACC action is going to be at Louisville. That line went to 21 and a half, and it has been unchanged since Tuesday morning. Um, I think Louisville still the play here. Not not uh, not certainly not a, a big play. It's a, it's a lot of points. But Boston College can't score as we talked about the other day. I think that they I think they'll do enough to uh, cover the spread. Uh, back to the Mountain West, we have UNLV and Air Force. That number went from 10 to to eight to seven and a half with uh, Air Force the favorite. About 20% of the books uh, have gone back up to eight in this one, um, as uh, as as the as was the case then. I like the Falcons of the Air Force being at home. I think they have enough to get this to get this covered, and I think they will. I think they'll cover the eight on that one. Appalachian State and Idaho. Okay, uh, that one hasn't changed at all either. Uh, Appalachian State went from minus 10 to minus 13, and this game has remained steadier than the allegations against Rick Pitino, the former Louisville coach who got his termination letter, and boy, did they rip him. Ooh, he got it good, and evidently he deserves it. Hey, you know what? That's fine, though. Appalachian State um, go, uh, going up. I liked Idaho. I um, wish I knew exactly to, to tell you specifically, but as I mentioned the other day, I don't think Appalachian State is quite as good, especially offensively, as some of the other teams. I just think Idaho's uh, in Moscow, the uh, Moscow in Idaho, by the way, is going to get this one done. Okay? Ohio State, Nebraska. <sighs> Nebraska went from uh, minus, excuse me, plus 21 and a half to plus 24. It's gone up even again, another half point. I don't know, I think. How do you take Nebraska here? Let's get some, uh, if I had a Buckeyes helmet, and I, I got some friends that do, get some of those leaves out, start putting them on those helmets again. Yeah, they're going to score a lot of points, and they're going to beat up Nebraska. Okay, uh, give the 24 and a half points on that one. Baylor is going to be at Oklahoma State, and the 
thought process is that is they're going to continue is continuing to rise as Oklahoma State went from 23 to 25 and a half, and now we're seeing 26s and 27s on this game. It's a lot of points, but Oklahoma State and Stillwater can certainly pile them up. Key to the game, as I mentioned the other day, is going to be the pass rush. If Baylor has time to throw, they'll cover. If they don't, they won't. Simple as that. And I don't think ultimately they will. I'm not going to say it's going to be 35 or 40 point victory, but I think that the Cowboys are going to do enough to cover this spread. Okay, so that's everything that I have for you today. Uh, you can go to the website. You can see, uh, as I have talked about the last several weeks, the public has been very good in terms of predicting winners. So I have the five best bets by the in terms of the public percentage of who they're taking. Those are uh, those will be up on the website uh, shortly, so you can check those out. Uh, I think. 18, 10, and 2 sounds right to me in terms of what that record is, so check that out. Hey, and I'll be back tomorrow to talk about the NFL, and we'll have some more of this exact type of material, we'll go through all the games, and plus, I'm sure have some new ones as well. So, all right, as of right now, uh, good luck to you, and Doug Upstone is out. <laughs>